everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this one, we're going to be reacting to Chernobyl episode 5 called Vichnaya Pamyat. Um, I apologize if I butchered that phrase. Um, recap? Um, so, in the last episode, we see uh, Legasov and Shabina tackling how to get graphite off the roof. There's three roofs, and they're all at different Ronkin levels. Um, so, Shabina managed to get hold of a space rover. Um, but that helps with the first two uh, roofs, but the last one, it just it's just too high. So they get a phone call saying that they're going to get a German bomb drone, like a bomb uh, disposal or something like that, uh, rover. They get given it, they put it on the roof and it conks out. And Shabina finds out later on that the government lied to Germany at what the Ronken level was. Yeah, I think they said it was like going the propaganda like, level, they said 2000. So the, yeah. the drone was the, was never gonna the robot was never gonna work, yeah. Um, yeah. and Shabina destroys a phone because of it. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, and then uh, Legasov says, "Well, we've got to use bio robots, which he meant humans." But it was so dangerous that it actually, if a human was up there for, it was if they're up like there for two, two minutes, minutes, it cuts your life expectancy by half, which is just yeah, it's which ridiculous. is ridiculous. So they got given yeah. 90 seconds. You're under in yeah. in you got you gotta go up there 90 seconds, push as much graphite as you can into the hole from the edge yeah. to, into the hole yeah. that was created um from the explosion and then get back in. And they did this like a conveyor belt, uh, essentially. Yeah. Um but yeah. it was kind of messed up. Um and then and then we see the uh, the kind of the cleanup operation where this uh, you see volunteers or, or people that have been drafted, I guess, um, basically sh either knocking trees down, re-earthing, but they followed one kid who was on uh, like, it's like a wildlife disposal, but essentially it's all domestic animals. Hmm. And you basically see how they've got to go around towns just shooting any dogs and cats that they see. Um, and in the beginning, he's kind of like hesitant, like, you know, as anyone would be. Doing? In fact, yeah. the first time he sees, um, I forgot the, the name of the guy he was with, but he, the first thing he does is hands him like a bottle of vodka. I'm assuming it's yeah. vodka anyway. Um, and it's like, it's way too early. But yeah. by the end of the episode, through all the, the messed up stuff he has to do, like obviously shoot dogs, then he sees a bit where there's a, a bar, um, a, a room in a house that's full of oh, yeah. puppies. Um, and he, he gets told to just go outside because he knows he won't be able to handle it. And all he hears is the gunshots. Yeah. Um, by the end of the day, he's drank quite a lot. Um, yeah. And I'm assuming that's just something you have to do. Otherwise, you, you're just traumatized, even though he still looked traumatized afterwards. Yeah. Oh yeah, that, that would drive you for life. Basically. Yeah. Uh, um, and finally, at the end of the episode, we got to see um, uh, Alana give her finding. Know. Yeah, give yeah, her findings we... about AZ five, and and Legasa was basically like, yeah, I kind of knew this was going to happen. Not knew this was going to happen, but this kind of stuff has happened before, where uh, someone did a report in the past where they pressed the button, and um, Temporary uh, spike due to in low the, reactivity uh, sorry yeah. due to low power it's, reactivity like it yeah. can swing yeah um, there's temporary yeah. there's a temporary shift in power yeah um, because it was on on a on a it wasn't redacted it was a book that had pages taken out of it and essentially yeah. the kgb had um it was a state secret it, essentially whatever yeah. happened yeah um but in that case in that case it was a brief moment but it's something that, that everyone should have known and they didn't. So at the end, he said he has to go to Vienna to give us an account of what happened. Um, and uh, look, uh, Shabina says, you can't say it. And uh, Alana's like, you have to. I mean, there was this point where she gives, she tells us about Ignatenko and Ludmilla. Oh, yeah. And she obviously was pregnant. She had the baby. The baby lasted less than four hours because it, the mm -hmm. baby absorbed all the radiation which is so messed up she was like oh, we live in a state where the kids have to die for their mothers and um that was, it's, yeah. yeah it's not she's not going to stand for it anymore so let's see what happens in this final episode of this mini series mini series it's been great so far 
um, episode five, which not time yet. Let's check it out. Who's this? Oh, dear love. Constant pissed off look on his face. Resting bitch face, yeah. <laughs> Resting bitch face. Yeah, so this is obviously, yeah, this is... 12 hours before the oh, explosion. Right, okay. We get to see the lead up to it. This little problem we have with the safety test, if it's completed successfully, yes, I think promotion's very likely. I need someone to take my old job. I would like to be considered. All That's off the back of this, clever, isn't it? What? Yeah, off the back of the safety test. Yeah. Three years of trying to finish this test. Three years. Three years. No, oh, it's a bit long, isn't it? Got a call from the grid controller in Kiev. He says we can't lower power any further, not for another ten hours. All the productivity quotas. Everyone's working overtime. The factories need power. Someone's pushing down from above. So they can't lower power. Well, if we need to wait ten hours, we wait. I'm running half power, not going to have stability issues. No, I, I should think. I'm not asking you. Is he the best person to answer the question, though? We'll maintain at 1600. I'll go home, get some sleep, come back tonight. We'll proceed then. Okay, so here was it was already a problem where it's at lower power for. 10 hours. Brakanov knows. Brakanov had the question. There might be a stability issue. I love how this is the conversation between three people that essentially, if they had not had this conversation and just been like, okay, we'll raise it 10 hours later, we'll bring it back down, then it'll be okay. Yeah, that's a good point. Could they not have done that? Could they not have scrapped the test, raised the power, and after 10 hours started again, but lowering the power? Like, would it have extended by, like, a, a day or two or three? Yeah. Sorry, I love how he's just trying to get comfortable in that office because he, th he thinks he's going to nah, get a promotion. I'm getting a promotion. <laughs> well, you look dodgy. <laughs> it's, that's not scary. Might as well just have KGB plastered on his forehead. You went to the doctor yesterday. How is your health? You don't know. He knows everything. Turns out you're quite good at this. At what? Lying. Oh, he... Statecraft, Ugasov. Statecraft. He didn't tell them the truth. The Chernobyl was solely the result of operator error, which it essentially was. We have you to thank for that. Operator error. You gave us assurances. The reactors would be made safe. Once it's over, we won't have our villains. We will have our hero. We will have our truth. Huh? After that, oh, they're just riding our out, right? truth. <laughs> but he is the, he's living, he's walking and breathing about the truth of what it is. It must be like fabricated. So it's like they, they said it was operator error. They've got to basically say, yeah, you know, I'm we'll really wondering about like, what was the budgetary issue at that time for the Soviet Union? For them to not be, not give this priority. If he, if they're still waiting, if they're still waiting on yeah. doing something about the reactors, it doesn't make sense. Oh no! He's losing hair. He's dying, basically. Yeah. Let's talk about Vienna. I'm not here to scold you. I know how the world works, despite what Shabina says. Oh wow, she's more understanding than I thought she'd be. The state will never willingly fix the reactors because acknowledging the problem means admitting that they lied. They will have to be forced. Acknowledging the That's problem up, isn't it? is so weird. At the trial, you're going to tell the truth. You're going to convince a jury. It's a show trial. That's true. It's scripted, really, isn't it, at this point? Yeah, that's what he was saying. Like, we'll have our, our villains and our heroes. They will shoot me. Homyuk. I mean... He's, like, on a ticking clock anyway. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's what I was thinking. They simply did what had to be done. So have I. So have I. That's true, too. I he... went willingly to an open He's... reactor. Yeah, he did yeah. go in. So I've already given my life 
Isn't that enough? No, I'm sorry, but it is not. Damn. <laughs> Straight really, to the point. Really is stubborn. Yeah. She has a point. Um, well, also... he's, got, he's, he's, he's got a stature about himself. He's got a following, obviously. He must have some sort of following. If he doesn't say anything, who else is going to say something? Mm. Right? Shabin is not going to say anything. City of Chernobyl. Is it even... Are they holding the trial here? Is that is that why they've all come here? Wouldn't it be idiotic to do the trial? Know, right? Isn't it? It's not safe, right? So Victor Brocano, Anatoly Dyatlov, Nikolai Fermi. Dyatlov looks old there, man. Accused of violating Article Two Twenty. It's really got to him there. Yeah. Radiation. Comrade Khamyuk, Comrade Legasov, Comrade Boris Yevdokimovich Sherbina. Heroes and villains. Safety test. Ugh. Why was there need for a safety test at all? Reactor number four was not new when the accident occurred. Plant director Viktor Brikhanov signed this document, certifying the completion of the construction of the reactor. As a result of finishing the work before the end of the year, Comrade Brikhanov was awarded Hero of Socialist Labor. Why are these guys getting medals for just? Doing their job. Doing shit, yeah. This document was a lie. Oh. In order to sign this certificate, all safety tests had to have been successfully completed, and yet one remained. Oh, they lied to sign the document. Oh, they fabricate, yeah. A nuclear reactor. To look good. Generates heat in the core here. A series of pumps here and here set a constant flow of cooling water through the core. What if the power feeding the plant itself is disrupted? Without water, the core overheats, the fuel melts down, in short, a nuclear disaster. But you have um, contingencies. Three diesel fuel backup generators here. Imagine how much diesel they need. Yeah, it's a lot of, a lot of fuel, right? If the facility lost power, the turbine which had been spinning would take some time to slow down and stop. What if you could take the electricity it was still generating? And transfer it to the pump. Oh. Any questions? Isn't it mad how he didn't know anything about nuclear reactors and now he's just He's an expert, that. yeah. Yes. You know what's even worse? He was, he's the Minister of Fuel and Energy. I think that's yeah. what, how he's introduced. And he didn't know anything about it. Yeah. The science is strong. But a test is only as good as the men carrying so it. No, it sounds like a normal test. And they've obviously done it on the other three reactors, so they know what they're doing. Yeah. The third time they tried, they failed. The Shit, fourth time they tried was April 26, 1986. Oh my God, they'd failed that many times already. I know. That's and what's worse, they signed pressure. it off before they did yeah. it. That's, like that's why there was three... more pressure on it. Okay, yeah, okay. That's I see said, yeah, that, yeah. And that's why he said it's taken me three years to get, yeah. By two in the afternoon, the reactor has been lowered by half to 1,600 megawatts and is stable and ready to be reduced to its final output level for the test, 700 megawatts. Power grid officials in Kiev say that they cannot afford a further reduction in electricity until after midnight. They are asking for a 10-hour delay. Competent management would have insisted on cancelling the test. These three men allowed it to proceed. They needed a promotion. Yeah. Another test. They're supposed to run a, a turbine rundown. They tried it last year. They couldn't do it on the day shift, so they've given it to us. Oh, brilliant. These guys haven't even been briefed. They don't even know what the test is. Because the guys who normally would know what the test is are the day shift people, and, and, the, they, and they had to delay it 10 hours. Wouldn't it make sense to just give them an extra overtime? You're well, the day shift people, right? There's a lot of things crossed out, but should I? <laughs> I'm sure. The Bye. instructions are crossed out. Thank you. It's like, it's like they're redacted. Follow the, they should have. Instructions. follow the crossed out. Yeah. It's so idiotic. It's basically, you know what they've probably done? Instead of putting a tick next to it, they've been like, check, we've done it, and we've crossed <laughs> it out. And it's like... But... It's like saying drive in the dark without your headlights. Yeah. Too much to ask that you all know what you're doing. Yes. Oh, yes, absolutely. 
Yes, it is too much to ask. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. Reviewed. We only just found out we're there. Review it. Oh, what a dick. Switch, switch the turbine off while the reactor's still running. This is not good. Shut the fuck up and do your job. Damn, he's a prick. I want you to think of Yuri Gagarin. I want you to imagine that he has been told nothing of his mission into space until the moment that he is on the launch pad. Yeah, this is stupid. The night shift had not been trained to perform the experiment. They hadn't even been warned it was happening. Leonid Toptonov, all of 25 years old. <laughs> and his total experience on the job? What were you doing at 25? Four were months. you handling a nuclear reactor test? Four months. Hell no! It's insane. Two things that happen inside a nuclear reactor. The reactivity which generates power either goes up or it goes down. Simple. What the operators do is maintain balance. Rocket science. Uranium fuel. This is where he opens that theory up, isn't it? <laughs> they reduce reactivity like brakes on a car. <laughs> but there's a third factor to consider. Who's this guy? Just... Everyone can see you, buddy. Crouching's not going to do anything. More heat, which means more steam, which means it would appear we yeah, have I was a gonna vicious say, cycle so... on our hands. Yeah. Vicious cycle. Fuel increases reactivity. Control rods and water reduce it. Steam increases it. The rise in temperature reduces it. Okay, there's your balance. Is the invisible dance that powers entire cities without smoke or flame. Because of the delay, Chernobyl Reactor 4 has been held at half power for 10 hours. The xenon did not burn away. We're starting to lose balance. At 28 minutes oh. past midnight... He's propping up well, is he? Yeah. Take it down. Good. Like that. Should have finished by now. Shut up, Diablo. Shut up, yeah. God, that's, it's a 25 year old for heaven's sakes. I'm pretty sure I was still burning toast at that age. Ease it down to 700. Whoa, 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 slow. Oh shit, that jumped quite quickly. Yeah. Okay, it's plummeting it's a bit now. Mate, you better go and get... Get that guy yeah. back in. Get Diablo yeah. back in. It's Damn, it's plummeting. Oh, it's gone. Look at that. What are you doing? We have to shut all the way down. No. The rules. Don't talk to me about rules. If we fall from 80%... No, no, we fell from 50% of power. 50 of power. The rules don't say 50. There is no rule. <laughs> there is no rule? What guys. the fuck? What's going on here? Honestly. No. These guys are talking sense, he's just like, it. no. It isn't safe. You know what the issue is? They're talking sense, but he was going to say we need to shut it down. But shutting it down wouldn't have helped either. In that like room, everyone's probably command. thinking... Whee! Is... I wasn't even there. Bullshit! Oh, shut up. If you weren't there, then where were you? the gas off. You are a witness, not a prosecutor. I will ask the questions here. Then ask him. If you weren't in the room, then where were you? <laughs> Just repeat the question. The toilet. Oh, man. Bullshit. No, the toilet. Ba 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 bullshit. The bean is in a bad way, isn't it? Yeah. Course, Probably the same as. Um, same who's, as. Who's running, the, who's running this trial with E? That guy just basically told the judge to like, we'll go for a re... He just yeah. basically went like this. Yeah, judge, judge. It was to show trial, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah um, Legasov, um, it'd probably be the same as Legasov, right? We can see Legasov's hair falling out. Well, it's time. Maybe a year. A year? Bloody yeah. Uh, that's not long at all. I wasted it. I wasted it all for nothing. Nothing. What does that mean? You did great work. Yeah. Everything we asked for. Everything we needed. 
He was the one making the phone calls, man. man. Material. Yeah. Boron. He's the one with sands, the rovers. Rovers. Yeah. Helicopters. Yeah. People. He's the one that arrested um, Fromin and... Fromin and Brokhanov. Yeah. All the ministers and all the deputies, the entire congregation of obedient fools, they mistakenly sent the one good man. Facts. God's sake, mm. Spice. You were the one who mattered most. Yeah. It doesn't, nothing, none of this happens without him. This cleanup. Yeah, because, yeah. Because to everyone else, Legasov's just a scientist, doesn't, mm. doesn't really know. Even doing. listening to Legasov, and then when it came back to the, like, the meeting where Gorbachev's there, he comes out yeah. of uh, Shabina's yeah. mouth that this shit needs to happen. Yeah. The only way to safely raise power from the state is to do it very, very slowly over the course of 24 hours. If Yatlov wants it done now, they begin pulling control rods up. Increasing reactivity. Yeah. So technically it should completely start. That reactivity yeah. should be increasing, but it's Ooh, so poisoned, spike. right? Xenon poisoning is so strong the best they can do is raise the power to 200 megawatts. No, no, he needs 700. This is all we can get. It's 200 megawatts. We've pulled almost everything out. And that's all we have. That's all we have. Oh, damn, you're right. He, d he does want to run the test. He's an idiot. What's he doing? He's an idiot. You're 500 below where you should be. The power was too low. The water was too high. The test was already ruined. Yeah. The results would have been useless. But the Atlas didn't care. 1.22 a.m. Less than two minutes remain. 1.23.45, right? Circulation operators are in the pump room. None of them have been told about the test. None oh my god. About to happen. Is he the only one that knew? Is Dyatlov the only one that knew? This is so idiotic. It looks like it. The computer is recommending that the reactor be shut down. And even the computer recommended it. Now the test begins. The pumps are shut down and they've let go. The balance immediately swings in the opposite direction. In less than a second, reactivity increases. Damn, it must have gone high really fast. Steam increases reactivity, increases heat, increases steam. That cycle of yeah. reactivity. Yep. Yeah. Remaining xenon decays away. The power is rising. It's a time bomb. You've got nothing on the blue side. 123 and 35. I think he's jumping. He's just jumping. Mm, another 10 seconds. We, we, we have a power surge, Sasha. Damn. It's rising really quickly. There is a button with one single purpose. The scram will instantly shut down the reaction. In Soviet reactors, that button is called AZ-5. But... Say it. Mm. Come on. You're waiting for Legasov. Tell your lies. Comrade Yadlov, you will not be warned again. Do you know what? He's still got a spirit in... Legasov's already given in it the end. Comrade Yadlov. There was no way to avoid what was coming. Yadlov, no... Yeah. Dialov actually wants him to s say something about AZ-5. Your testimony is concluded. Oh, well, well. Your Honour. Well. The court is now yeah. adjourned. Uh, we will resume tomorrow. Let him finish. With... Yeah. Let him finish. He commands enough respect in the room for a judge to be like, yeah. That's okay. true, yeah. Yeah. Dialov broke every rule we have. He did these things believing there was a failsafe. AZ-5, a simple button to shut it all down. The shutdown system had a fatal flaw. He didn't know about it. Mm. The fully withdrawn control rods begin moving back into the reactor. The tips are made of graphite, which accelerates the So activity. idiotic. Why? It's cheaper. <laughs> oh my god. Basically calling it them cheap. Yeah. That is... He's not gonna, he's gonna be in trouble. Every last molecule of liquid water instantly converts to steam, which expands and ruptures a series of fuel rod channels, 
the control rods in those channels can move no further. Oh, oh right. So the boron. So the, they don't go in. Yeah, they couldn't get in for the like the boron to hit kind yeah. of thing. Oh, that's messed up. So it basically stops it from entering. Only properly, yeah. only the graphite tips were able to enter, as, as if I understood that correctly. Oh my god, that is so scary. It's just lighting up like a Christmas tree. Look. These guys are all dead. Yeah. Like instantaneously, I mean. Reactor 4, designed to operate at 3200 megawatts, went beyond 33,000. Oh my god. Look at Dyatlov, he doesn't know what the hell's going on. Pressure inside the core. I think he's slightly no pleased that that AZ5 bit came out. Well, explosion. He's still, he was still Ooh. in the wrong. Disaster is now complete. Damn. That is crazy. God, that's so scary. I don't understand why a beam of light comes out though. Is I don't it know. Just from the fire or? No, I don't know what the beam of light is either. The shutdown button could act as a detonator. They didn't know it because it was kept from them. Uh, uh... Testimony in Vienna. Testimony in Vienna was a lie. Mm, yeah, he's in super, super trouble. You are treading on dangerous ground. I've already trod on dangerous ground. We're on dangerous ground right now. Facts. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. Every lie we tell incurs a debt to the truth. Damn, what a line. Sooner know, or later, right? that debt is paid. Ooh, bars. <laughs> that is how an RBMK reactor core explodes. That's a funny line, actually, because Lies. everyone says that's the question. How does an RBMK... L RBMK reactor explode. Lies is the answer. Yeah. yeah. And he's right. You kept important information for yourselves, and yeah. this is the result of that. The thing is, what Dyatlov did was wrong as well. Yes, yes, I agree. But he did it in the back of his mind thinking, doesn't matter what I do, I've got this to back as a backup. I can just, yeah. you know, start from scratch. You know it's the 70s with that kind of symmetrical yeah. wallpaper, right? Pattern. 80s. 80s. Oh, sorry. 80s. 80s. God. Like an optical illusion. You did good. <clears throat> like you said, he's dying anyway. So. I mean, unless everything that happens in this meeting, no one, um, this trial or whatever, no one, no information gets out. You're not heroic. Says you. Just a dying man who forgot himself. Scientists. And your idiot obsession with reasons. <laughs> when the bullet hits your skull, what will it matter? Why? Because it'd still be a truth, even if he's not there. It's true, isn't it? Dumbass. You will not communicate with anyone about Chernobyl ever again. Damn. Yeah, what are they going to do? Put him under house arrest? It will be exceedingly hard to know that you ever lived at all. They're wiping him out. Wow. Whilst keeping will him alive. will never remember you. Why worry about something that isn't going to happen? <laughs> God. Oh, that's perfect. That's a dangerous line. They should put that on our money. <laughs> God. Savage. He's defiant to the end. We are so focused on our search for truth, we fail to consider how few actually want us to find it. Damn. That's a scary line. Yeah. Where I once would fear the cost of truth, now I only ask... What is the cost of lies? And Chernobyl is a prime example of that. Oh look! Oh, this is the Gustav, okay. Um, exactly two years after the explosion at Chernobyl. In the aftermath of his death, Soviet officials finally acknowledged the design flaws of the RBMK nuclear. It took him dying 
for them to finally realize that's a piss take. Three so, years. It took three years. Lagasse was aided by dozens of scientists who worked tirelessly alongside him at Chernobyl. Some spoke out against the official account of events and were subject to denunciation, arrest, and imprisonment. Wow. Damn! The character of Alina. Ulana Komyuk was created to represent them all to honor their dedication and okay. service. To... Oh, so she was made up. Yeah, but she was everyone's voice. Yeah. She's that she's the group. That's a brilliant way of um representing them. Yeah. Shabina died on August the twenty second, nineteen ninety, four years and four months after he sent to Chernobyl. Well, not far off uh, from what yeah. um Lagasov told him the time frame would be. Rakanov, Dyatlov and Famine were sentenced to ten years hard labor. Is that it? Like, I don't know. I don't it... know what hard labor means. Yeah. As such. Famine returned to work after those 10 years. At a nuclear power plant? I don't know. To... With him, he didn't really have a hand in it. He did kind of warn. Nah, he didn't. He, he didn't push enough. Oh, look at the fire firefighter's clothes. What is it? 582, 582 645 Rongen. Rongen. Mate, should people be there? Oh, well, no, I think they're scientists. They've got their hazmat suits under them. Ludmilla suffered multiple strokes. Doctors oh, told her she would never be able to bear a child. That's messed up. They were wrong. What, she oh, didn't she suffer? To... Oh, she lives with her son. She did. Oh, that's nice. She did. She went through yeah. head and back. Yeah. I, know she, I know she... She, she, did did, she didn't listen to the people that told her, but still losing your kid and your husband in that such a way, it's, it's devastating. 400 miners worked around the clock for one month. A hundred of them died, died before the age of 40. That is disgusting. Three divers who drained the bubbler tanks died as a result of the heroic actions. Sorry, it was widely reported. All three survived after hospitalization. Wow. They Two are still in, alive in today. In That's it. crazy. They didn't, they weren't even wearing they were, like. They were in the thick of it, man. We will never know the actual human cost of Chernobyl. Most estimates range from four thousand to ninety-three thousand deaths. That's such a massive right. swing. That is a massive, that is massive, a huge swing. Huge swing. The official Soviet death toll unchanged since nineteen eighty-seven is 31 are you uh, mad that is disgusting where the hell did they get 31 from maybe the firefighters and the people in the building but 31 and then 4,000. in memory of all who suffered and sacrificed here here there was a lot of suffering and that's the end of the episode and the mini series which i must say was absolutely amazing um it was really good, actually. The way that they confined the story in five episodes yeah. is very good because... It's something that's very hard to do. Yeah. Yeah, obviously they, they've taken key points and then they've tried to mix in other things that are going on around it. So Ludmilla's um, story, the, the story of the, the people, you know, clean, the cleanup program, Mm. you know but while all that's going on you've still got the the reactor stuff the you know stopping it from a meltdown so five episodes is adventurous but it they did it really well mm. a lot of it is heartbreaking man and heartbreaking i mean you're just restricted by a lot of bureau bureaucracy and more like you than, said more the, back then. yeah what is the cost think, of lies um, what is the cost of lies is the ultimate message of, of this uh, mm. miniseries um which is also um lies being the answer to how um an rbmk reactor explodes it's so counterintuitive though it's like serious shit we're not talking yeah. like it's not like a minor thing to like you can fib or lie yeah and there's no yeah, like yeah, yeah. massive repercussions Mm. There's like you're, you're is, doing it to a yeah. nuclear it's a nuclear reactor. Shit has the to be is, fixed ASAP. And the uh, sorry, go on. No, I was gonna say I think I think for them it's the reason they probably had that trial is so people don't do what 
the outlaw did. It's a message to everyone, like it's error, it's error incompetence, or it's error. But, but I'm not only know, talking about. I'm not only talk, talking about that. I'm talking about even off the back of when when Legasov came back from Vienna and he was talking to the KGB guy whose name escapes me, and he was like, it was like I did that so that you could off the back of you telling me that I would have or we as a scientific community or uh, would have reassurances that you're going to fix yeah. this stuff and he was like, he, he was just like he speak, just cared yeah. about the narrative yeah 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 and that's that I think that was the main problem with with everyone involved yeah law uh, for for me and all of them not it's they're all we've always said this throughout this episode is power kind of comes down you know the way he explained it was the grid controllers it's not the grid controller it's someone pushing down on him and it's, i just can't believe that they stole the the um the safety test and then they also fudged the safety test to get it signed they off it. For what? Yeah, they, fudged, they fudged it it failed three times and on the fourth time they do it they were still going to fudge it they were still they were yeah. in the process yeah. of of yeah. failing it just like those other times but the thing is it's like how i know it's easy to say but how stupid you have to be like to, if that, you if it, are you talking okay. specifically about the test or the you theory the, yeah the, the theory behind it the fact that you signed off three years ago for whatever reason to get your commendations to show that you can do it and then you fail a test three times surely like someone would be like we can't do you think that the thing they're thinking of that if you don't get if you don't sign off this test i'll get someone else to sign off this test that's probably yeah, just how, that. it, how it worked or um and if you don't do this safety test i will not give you this promotion and find someone that. else who can re- run this safety test that's how it worked what i'm I getting mean, uh, fair, what i'm getting that i i understand yeah i understand there are certain levels of or there can be certain levels of whether it's minor or major yeah. corruption levels in governments I'm well aware of it no one's naive and it's it's idiotic yeah. and it's disgusting yeah. however when you're doing it when you have something as fragile and as dangerous as nuclear as power yeah. Yeah. <laughs> doing it because doing it to that that's the idiotic part that yeah. is that was just so idiotic like you're you're scrimping your you on the budget for it because he was saying that we have um uh what were the tips made of boron uh, sorry, um, um graphite graphite tips on on those control rods which are made of bor- boron because it's cheaper bro but the thing is what's what's stupid about it is they knew about it because of that report but they still didn't say, okay, fine, we'll we'll change it. It'll cost us a little. I don't, I don't know what the. They didn't change. They didn't was. change anything. They didn't change anything. No, that's my point. I don't. Oh. I, don't I don't know what the economical state was of at the time. weren't they racing to go to the moon then or something or? Whatever. Oh, you you think they wasted the budget on the moon race? But that was like twenty years prior, wasn't it? No, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. What, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember when it worked. But it, what I'm saying is, it sounds like they just. They just wasted their bu- yeah they have probably wasted their budget away. but yeah, the worst thing about it is that they knew about it two years before chernobyl yeah around How- the time that they signed off on the on the on the thing so heartbreaking for the for the um the engineers and scientists that were in the reactors because they were just put in mm-hmm. a shit show they weren't the people that were supposed to do it it was the night shift people and the day shift were the ones that were I don't know if briefed is the right way, but they knew what to do better than the night shift people. Uh, yeah. And they, they weren't quite following what to do because they weren't given the instructions of what to do and the instructions that they were given on what to do was redacted uh, anyway. It was it was such a sh- it was such a shit show from I start to finish. What, you know, we were talking about the like, instead of putting a tick next to it, they just crossed it out to be like, yeah, we've done it. But then no one thought of retyping the fucking paperwork <laughs> up and being like, here's a fresh set. Don't we, these, these are the things. Hmm. This so is- you don't need to retype, don't ask any questions. Yeah. But it must have, I mean, don't get me wrong, like I said, they must have been scrimping on pennies because they didn't even have a proper meter to read the Ronken levels. They did, but one of them was in the safe. Yeah, but 
one in a power plant with three, four nuclear reactors. Like, come on. Like, <laughs> and so much just... off the back of this, there was so much death and destruction. So many people were either injured or went through pain or went through horrible at, deaths. And people are affected to this day yeah. off the back of it. Generations uh, down. Um, and it's, it's just, it's off the back of sheer incompetence, which is really messed up. The show itself, I've got to say, is Brilliant. one of the best shows yeah. I've ever seen. Uh, from yeah. the music, oh, you know what? It's tense in every bit. HBO. Yeah, HBO. Do good. You can't bear with HBO. Well, yeah, you, yeah. We, we've. This is the third HBO series that we've seen. Obviously, Band of Brothers, Pacific, and now this. So they 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 do some good shows. White Lo just... White Lotus is HBO as well. Oh yes, of course, yes, yeah. yes. They just they can't fail. They can't fail whatever yeah, yeah. genre it is. Um, yeah, and breathe. Um, well, 2015 is when they put the containment. 100 years. Uh, so 2115 will be the next time they have to redo the containment. Probably been space on Mars by then. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> great show. Um, let us know your thoughts, uh, what you thought of the episode, the show, and our reaction to it. Um, but other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya. Bye.